Yes, filed on the 28th of October 2024. Yes. And just to add that, insofar as the plaintiff's counsel's submission relating to Act 921 is concerned, they should properly have been brought under Rule 46 mm. of the Rules of the Court, which require him to come by way of an amendment to his statement of case, because it involves more serious issues of law to be considered. Because in terms of his submission... The plaintiff should have made the additions under... Rule 46. Rule 46. Of the rules of the court. Sorry, 45-4. Rule 45 sub rule 4. Yes. And under which the court may allow any party to amend their statement of case. Mm -hmm. Now, my lord, the, my, my lord the, 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 the submission we make in reaction to the argument on Act 921 is that it then changes a little bit the context of the plaintiff's case. Because now you are alleging that there's also a breach of an act of parliament. And that would not be properly within the jurisdiction of the court. Because if you allege that the breach relates to an act of parliament, Yes. Because if you allege that the breach relates to an act of parliament rather than the constitutional provisions of Article 108, there will be issues of jurisdiction. <laughs> but under Act, yeah, sorry. And so I will just simply submit that. Watch my hand. I'm sorry. Malik, Malik. Yes, go on. I'll simply submit that if this court is minded to admit that point, then we should file some supplementary submissions to assist the court because there's a lot of um, submissions we made. Legal points to be argued. If you submit this, that if the court allows this, this then, yes. then, then we would ask for leave to file supplementary submissions to ours, only on the question of the application of Act 921 to the instant proceedings. in response to what they said. Yes. Yes, Mr. Sorry, are you done or you have something more to say? Um, my Lord, that would not be all. Just, mm -hmm. If we could just be made to file supplementary. So. I heard that one. Yes. Anything further? That's, that's, that's all. Otherwise, we rely on our statement of peace. Yes, Mr. Jambibi. Especially, my lady, I have seen a copy of the statement of defense, statement of defense, the second defendant's case filed on the 11th of November 2024. And my lady, we wish to rely entirely on the statements filed. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Fourth of November, twenty twenty-four. No, I just realized a mistake. Just one second. It's rule forty-nine, I think. Yes, I'm not reading. Rule we'll 49 says a writ or a statement of the plaintiff's or the defendant's case may be amended at any time with leave of the court on such terms. So I'm, I'm sorry, my lord. 49. 
Let me be amended with leave of the court. Yes, that's yes, true. No, I said that. I made a mistake. But, my, my lady. But it's just a small amendment to my submissions. I, wrong, I refer to Rule 45, that is 49. Yes, it's 49. Mm -hmm. You are for the plaintiff. your statement of case was found. I'm talking about you, please. Yes, Lord, with respect, we filed on the 18th of March, 2024. It was filed together with the rate. No, 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 it was filed after. Not together, after.
my coat. Counsel for the plaintiff is hereby granted leave to formally amend the statement of case filed on 18th March 2024 within two days of today. No, that is by 22nd November 2024. Counsel for first defendant is given up to 27th November 2024 to file a response. Mr. JMBB, would you like to file a response? Respectfully, my lord, uh, my, my senior who is in charge of the case has arrived. He, he, I will be allowed to announce it so that he can respond to it. Both counsel. My lord, respectfully, I am sorry to be late. Yeah. So let me finish making this order. Okay. Both counsel are given up to 27th November 2024 to file a response to counsel for the plaintiff's amend amended statement of case on that small bit will adjourn the case to 18th December 2024 for judgment. Yes, uh, Dr. Adusu, I'll now record you. Dr. Adusu for the second second defendant. Defendant, why not? now present. Most grateful. I'm sure Mr. Jinji will tell you what transpired. Yes, my lord. Right. Case, Respecting my lord, red number J1 slash 13 slash 2023, Dr. Amanda Odoi, Dr. Amanda Odoi versus the Speaker of Parliament, Speaker of Parliament, the Attorney General. Respectfully, my lords, the plaintiff is absent. The first defendant is, please your name, Edwin Tofo. The second defendant is absent. Please your relationship. Legal officer. Plaintiff absent, represented by you. No, my lady, plaintiff is absent. The first defendant represents the first defendant. That is so. That is so. The second defendant is absent. That is so. Second defendant absent. Legal representation, please. Q-U-A-Y-E. I appear for the plaintiff in this matter. Yes. Let me please the court tell you sorry for the first defendant. With me are Raphael Banamun. And Pumaya Nantogma. Respectfully, your lordships, I am Sylvia Adusu, Chief State Attorney for the second defendant, and I am with Nana Konedu 
Frank Pong, Assistant State Attorney. Yes. My Lord, the business for today is for an adoption of the memoranda of issues filed by the parties. We received the plaintiff's memoranda of issues and have recently filed us ours. We filed ours on the 18th of November, 2024. That's yesterday. And we have. Yes, my lord. No, my lord. We have received that of the second defendant. Do you have this in your hand? He's filed yesterday. Yes, you don't have that of the plaintiff? Hey, that's of the first defendant? It was filed on the 11th. 11th, my lord, we do. We do have you it. You do? We do have it. We have it. That's all the rest of you have received his. Okay. Yes. Yes, I have received, my lord. Yes, go on. My lord, we are praying this honorable court to adopt the issues filed by the parties. Yes. Yes. Um, my, my Lord, I, we, we actually understand the proceedings for today to be at the actual hearing yes, of the yes, matter. Yes. And that we are, we are not supposed to be considering only the memorandum of yes. issues, but the statement of case together with the memorandum yes, exactly. of issues. And then deciding whether the court will base its judgment on it. Yes. Or make, yes. It, it require us to make further arguments. So we are in the hands of the court. Yes. Counsel, would you like, yes, go on. My Lord, would you we, like to rely on your... My Lord, we'll rely on our statement of case filed on the 13th of February, our amended statement of case filed on the 13th February 2024. Pest wants to leave granted on the, by this honorable court on the 7th of February 2024. Oh, and our memorandum of issues. How was your amended? Statement of case filed, please. Thirteenth. Thirteenth, is it? That's so many. Thirteenth February. Right. Yes. Fellows, we also rely on our amended statement of defense filed on the fourteenth of March, twenty twenty-four. Statement of case. Statement of case. Filed on the 14th of March 2024. Yes. And the memorandum of issues we filed on the 11th of November 2024. Yes. My Lord, the second defendant also um, relies on its statement of case filed on the 4th November 2024. And it's memorandum of issues filed on the 6th November 2024. Filed on statement of case filed on on the 4th November on the 4th November 2024. And then memorandum of issues filed on on the 6th November 2024. Right.
Asia, Jan to 18th December 2024 for judgment.